Now this video does not aim to prevent you from learning React and other relevant JavaScript frameworks like Vue.js and AngularJS. Instead in this video we will be covering the topics like what is React, importance of React, how to learn React and finally where or when to use React. And basically this is the main point behind the creation of this video because React alone is not enough to build rich SEO friendly and super fast applications these days. I will talk about the best alternative to React which is also currently in a very high demand and will continuously be in the future. And this new technology might also replace React entirely. And the bonus part of this video is that I will also provide useful free resources that will help you learn React and get a job as a React developer. So let's get started. First of all let's see what is React. React is a popular JavaScript library that is used to build awesome user interfaces and single page applications also called as PaaS. React introduces the concept of components by which we can divide the entire website into smaller components and then use logic and style for each component separately. Other than that React also has a concept of JSX which means that now you can write HTML and CSS in your JavaScript files. And this is what makes React the most popular and widely used JavaScript library for building user interfaces or front-end apps. With the help of React you can write very well managed code that is easy to write and debug. Therefore a lot of people really like to use React in their projects. Moreover it is created by Facebook and the stack that uses React is called the MERN stack where R stands for React and also this is the most popular web development stack these days. So now as you have learned what React is, it's time to know what is the importance of React. So without React making a dynamic website will not just be a tedious job for developers but also it would be very difficult for the end user. Because as we have discussed earlier that React is used to create single page applications, therefore without React navigation to other pages in a website will make the browser reload every time. But that isn't the case with React. Here we don't have the concept of pages, instead we will be having only one page and many components. Hence React makes applications behave very dynamic and also fast because of the concept of components. Other than that React is currently very in demand technology. Technology. So if you are a freelancer or web developer you should definitely learn React. And if we talk about the companies who uses React, so the big companies such as Facebook, Instagram, Skype, Pinterest and many more uses React as a front-end library. Now let's see how you should learn React. Now I assume that you know JavaScript already because React uses JavaScript. In fact React is a JavaScript library. Now in order to learn anything you should start with the basics. And for this you can watch my free course that I have created on YouTube. The link will be provided in the video description. You can also watch some of these tutorials that will help you learn React in a very beautiful manner. After you gain some experience in React, I highly recommend to build projects. Just start with small ones. You can build user interfaces out of designs that are already available on internet, build clones of different websites. And by the way, you can watch these tutorials on YouTube that are doing fantastic job in this category and in this way you can brush up your skills and become a professional react developer and can also apply for jobs as well. Finally let's talk about the most important point of this video and that is when to use react and what is the best alternative to react. So react is a great library but it has some limitations. Now to step up your web development career with react you can learn Next.js. If you don't know what Next.js is then let me tell you that Next.js is a react framework work for building the front end of websites. It is a complete framework that has the concept of API development which means that you can use Next.js to create a medium to large scale website without any need of a backend. It also includes some of the newly and modern concepts like server side rendering and static side generation. And here note that React itself is a JavaScript library whereas Next.js is a complete framework that uses React and it also consists of the features like routing and navigation already built in 
plus it also includes some of the newly created concepts that I showed you earlier such as static site generation and server side rendering that are used to fetch the data before the application actually loads and make a static website that also uses backend APIs and still feel dynamic. Moreover Next.js is very rich in SEO which means that with Next.js you can build websites that can be indexed in search engines very fast. On the other hand React code is hidden on search engines which make it harder to index in a browser. Now I know these words would be confusing to you if you are a beginner but at the end I recommend Next.js over React because Next.js provides you most of the features that doesn't exist in React and makes your web development journey fast, smooth and flexible. So I hope you got the answer that why you should not learn React in 2023. Else you should consider Next.js and use React inside Next.js. For more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon next to it. So guys thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.